Hey, it's Colton from Basco Outdoors, and today I'm going to show you how to make a beetle fly. The finished product, when you get something from here, uh, will be something that will look like this. Uh, let's see if I can show you. It'll look like that. I'm probably not going to... Uh, we'll put the wings on. It's going to look just like that. And uh, basically, it's a good fly. And it floats right on the water perfectly. It's a great fly, as a matter of fact. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a size 10 hook. We're going to take our, our bobbin, which today I have in red thread. And we're going to start by making the body. And what I do when I make the body, just a little trick, is I start going backwards first to tie the extra thread and then go forward. And that usually just keeps it nice and it has a lot of tension on it when you're when you're threading it up and it helps. Um, just keep going nice nice and back. And you can pull that up. And you can wrap that up. Okay, so now that you have a body. You're going to snip the excess thread. Okay, and I just go over just a couple more times. Just like that. Alright, now that we have the body started, we're going to bring our thread back over towards the front. Okay. Oop. I don't want that to happen. We're going to bring it right up towards the front like, like that. Get the hook into the bob. There we get the hook. Okay. So now you've got that. Now you're going to take a little piece of foam about probably three times bigger than the hook. And you can cut it out from foam squares like this. I just took a little piece. And what you're going to do is you're going to find, find a spot and place it right behind the eye. Not too far back, but far enough. And then you're just going to tie that around. Make sure it's straight up and down on that hook and you're just going to tie it really tight put a lot of thread right there because that stabilizes the whole thing so see you end up with something like that and then you're just going to easily tie yourself back and then get right about there and now what we're going to do is now that we have that we could probably go back a little more. Okay, that should be okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of yarn or Chanel, whatever you want to call it, and just a little bit. Just from there. Okay. And we're going to And come back up and wrap that around the original part where we just wrapped the foam. And now we're going to take our hackle pliers and grab the yarn and just twist it over. And this is making a fuller body, kind of more adding more color to it so the fish it'll pop out to them. You can overlap, it just gives it a bigger body. Okay, now that we did that, we're going to wrap it as usual like you would with any other thing. Okay, go with your hackle pliers here. And you're just going to wrap it just like you would uh, any hackle or any other thing you do. And you're just going to snip it. So now we end up with something like this. Straighten it out a little. Get some more yarn. And just okay. So we have something like this. We have a good start here. Snip off. We have a little bit of excess here. Okay. So you have that. Now what you're gonna do is where this I, I took. I have. Uh, I took a little bit of turf, synthetic turf, 
which I found out works great for wings. And this is uh, silver, so I'm just going to place it right there. I'm just going to do a pretty much almost a figure eight with it. Okay, do is, uh, or an X, an X tie, if that's what you like better. And the good thing with turf is it keeps, uh, it doesn't get soggy, it's going to get in the water, it's going to keep its shape. Okay, now you're just going to keep tying it around. And it's starting to look good there. Okay, and what you're going to end up with is you're going to end up with something that looks sort of like an X across the top. That's what you want. So now we have that. You're going to take your other, uh, the foam from the back and fold it up like that. And then you're going to go right behind the eye. Just a little bit back, and just, and just tie it around right there. We're going to put a lot on there. Okay. Now you're going to end up with something that looks like that. That's what we want right there. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to finish up your fly like you would any other fly. Doing your wraps and a loop finish. And with the beetles, it's a little harder to loop it around, but you get the hang of it after you make a couple. And sometimes, I mean, you're going to want to pull that phone back so you can get under. And it is not working for me at all. There we go. Okay, now you have this. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut the foam short. So now you end up with something like that. And then I like to just cut a little shape, a little, looks like a head kind of shape, into my beetles. So you end up with something like that. And then we're going to add just a little bit of head cement on there. Just a little bit, just to make sure it stays on. And these beetles, like I said, are great flies to use. Great flies. Okay. Gotta blow on it. Okay. And there's your fly poop. There's our fly. Turned out pretty good. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.